Let's take a look at how you can connect your custom domain to Kartra. So I already have a couple of domains on here, but I just got a new one. I'm gonna see if I can add it in. You come up to this top right hand, go down to custom domains. These are the ones that are already connected. New custom domain. And doing the main domain, you do also have the option to do a subdomain, which is if you have, for example, your website at www.yoursite.com and that's hosted on WordPress, then you could use your Kartra pages with sales.yourwebsite.com, something like that to, uh, to keep both going. Um, but I almost always just route the main domain through Kartra. So I'm going to put in our domain is superialinsights.com. Yes, okay, double checking that. <laughs> I bought this through Google Domains. I've uh, become very fond of them. They are very easy to log into, easy to work with. Um, Kartra is going to tell you that GoDaddy is tough to work with, but it's doable, it's fine. Um, but. Google domains, name cheap. There's there's easier ones to um, connect. Then you're gonna want to change this. The favicon is this little icon that shows up in the tab. So if you don't want it to be showing this K for Kartra, we're gonna update it here. I do not have a logo or anything for this business yet. This is my husband's business that he's starting. So what am I gonna put in there? Let's grab something. Okay, so <laughs> not ideal, but it'll work. Okay, next. Now, there's an integration guide. If you click that, it opens in a new tab. But it starts at the top, so you'll want to come down to Custom Domains. Click directly on that, yeah. So you can follow along with this information, but this is what we're going to be doing. Point your CNAME record to Kartra. So my Kartra base account is increaseimpact.kartra.com. So I'm going to use that. So now we're going to move over to where I purchased the domain from, Google Domains. We're going to go to the DNS. Create a new record. Oh, wait, that was already a spot for a new record. Okay, so what we want is the its name is going to be the www. I don't need to add it. This is where we're going to say C name, and then this is where the data is going to go. So I'm going to save that. No, we don't need that one. Save that. And we're going to go back over here and tell them that we did this. Um, this is another step that you can do. So if somebody types in just your website without the www, that it will redirect to the right place. Because a lot of times now we're just skipping putting in www dot and just typing in the name of the website. So if somebody types in Sidereal Insights, I want it to redirect to www.sidereal.insights. So that is the second part to do is a redirect. Setup forwarding, here we go. So under website, setup forwarding. And it looks like they've already figured this out. Forward from sidereal.insights.com to www.sidereal.insights.com. That is what we want to have. Okay, so I think Google is smart enough to have already done that, it looks like. We'll check it out once we finish it. So I'm going to say, yes, I've completed these steps. Hit next. I need to set up 
a page for each of these things, but I have not done that yet. So I will have to, I'll have to go back in here and fix this up because right now, if somebody clicks, if somebody types in sidereal.influence.com, well, within a few minutes, it will, it will send them to this page, which is not ideal. So I'm going to fix that up and create new pages for it. And then I'll have to come back in here, but basically it's going to take some time to process that and connect those things. They say it can take a couple of days, but it usually just takes a few minutes to a couple of hours. So once that is ready, then you can test it out. And then I'll go be going back in and editing it just to fix up, you know, the Flavicon and the index page and stuff like that. So the next step for me would be to create a page that I want for the main page. When somebody types in www.siderealinsights.com, the page that will appear. And let me also show you how that, um, how you get it onto your new URL because I forgot to put that part in and I'm sorry I am laying in bed because I am sick today, but I am going to do this real quick. Uh, I still have not created a page for Sidereal Insights, so we're going to use this as an example page. And actually, I don't have to edit it. Um, after you do the publish live, it will give you this option and it also gives it to you here at get code or link. So get the page code is for if you're going to embed this, like in a, um, a WordPress site, you can embed. But usually what you're going to do is here and you see the default link to the page is going to be my base Kartra account. But I can come over here to edit the URL and the drop down menu will show me all the custom domains that I have set up. And then I can put this as, you know, whatever slash I want for this particular page to be but I'm going to cancel that because I do not want to mess up this page. <laughs> Let's make sure that I didn't. Yeah. Okay. But in the future, yeah, click that edit and select whichever custom domain you want and then do the um, second half of the URL, however you want it to look.